Hello and welcome to Westwood News Now. I'm your host, Connor Lynch, here to recap and preview all things Westwood. The Westwood Community Trust, a nonprofit that offers short term financial assistance to Westwood residents in need, is inviting applications for grants to assist with the pressures of inflation, holiday expenditures, and home heating costs. The awarded grants have helped residents regain their financial footing and security. Through WCC Campership Awards, the Community Trust has also helped children of struggling families. WCC's financial crisis grants to residents are made possible by community donations. The Community Trust has kicked off its annual fundraising campaign to replenish its resources. To learn more about the work of WCC, visit the URL listed on your screen. Residents interested in applying for the vacancy on the Denham Westwood Water Commission have until November 28th to apply. This three-year seat would consist of securing adequate and pure water supplies, financing and constructing of all facilities, distribution of water for domestic purposes, and fire protection. The Water Commission establishes and collects rates for metered water services, water sprinkler lines, and hydrants. For more information, contact the Denham Westwood Water District. Our city sports at Westwood High have ended their seasons, so let's take a quick look at how our teams fared. Cross Country had an impressive 4-1 season for the boys, while the girls end with a 2-3 season. They also qualified for the All-State Meet at Fort Devens this Saturday. Also Saturday, the varsity cheer team will head to Duxbury High School for the MSAA South Regionals. Field hockey made it to the playoffs, taking a loss against Mass Condiment last Friday. The football team was knocked out early in their playoff opener against Hanover, boasting a 4-1 league season. The golf team finished with 11 wins, 4 losses, and 1 tie. Boys soccer had a league season score of 7-6-3, and three, while the girls team was knocked out in their postseason by Duxbury High. Finally, the girls volleyball team lost to King Phillip in the round of 8 last Friday. And looking into next week's government meetings, Western Media Center will be live streaming and broadcasting Monday morning's select board meeting. The Westwood Performing Arts will be hosting the sixth grade play of The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. Shows will be held tonight at 7 p.m. and tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. in the high school auditorium. The Westwood Cub Scout troops are hosting their annual Scouting for Food Drive, benefiting the Westwood Food Pantry on Saturday, November 19th. There are two different ways to participate. You will either receive a flyer at your door this past weekend, detailing the pickup process at your house. Non-perishable items must be outside your front door by 9 a.m. on November 19th. If you don't receive a flyer, you can drop off your donations to the Thurston Middle School on November 19th between 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. for a curbside drop-off. Some needed items include canned fruits and vegetables, baked beans, progresso soups, condiments, cereal, peanut butter, toothpaste, soap, and incontinence pads slash underwear. Monitoring donations are also appreciated and are tax deductible. Visit the link you see on screen for more information. Norfolk County's Registry of Deeds is also hosting a food drive from now until December 13th. Those who wish can bring non-perishable food items to the registry in Dedham where a donation bin will be in the lobby. Suggested donations include canned goods, breakfast cereals, pasta, sauces, toiletries, and paper products. The Council on Aging is once again hosting their annual basket fundraiser. Each donated basket is worth over $25 and tickets can be purchased at the center until December 9th. 100% of the proceeds will benefit seniors in our community and winners will be picked at the Council on Aging's holiday party. And that's going to do it for us here at Westwood News Now. Episodes premiere every Friday, so tune in to us next week for more news. Thank you for watching.